Welcome back. How you guys doing? Um, I'm Mr. La Barbera, for those of you that don't know, and we're going to be looking at uh, one of our HESPA questions, and I'm going to give you a couple strategies, all right? So one thing that we have to get used to, especially on the HESPA or the SAT, any specific standardized test, is you're not specifically going to know what type of question it is. So when we look at this question here, it states in the figure below, what is the value of Y? So the one first and utmost thing that we need to do is we kind of need to realize what are we exactly dealing with. Well, when your brain looks at this, all right, it should kind of process the idea that we have a triangle. All right, so what's the first thing that comes to mind when you have a triangle? Well, the first thing that should is that a triangle is made up of 180 degrees. And there's certain properties and um, different axioms and postulates that you should have learned in your geometry class. If we look here, we have a 40 degree angle. Now, when two angles, these are called opposite angles or more um, in ter terms of geometry, vertical angles, we know that they're congruent or therefore equal. So if this is 40 degrees, the angle that is opposite has to be 40 degrees as well. Now we can take that same idea and that same principle and apply it to this 80 degree angle because if this is vertical to this, this is 80 degrees as well. Now the next step in this process is to figure out how many degrees in a right tri uh, not a right triangle, in a regular triangle, which is 180. So when we take 80 and 40 and we add them up, we have 120 degrees. So we would then subtract that from 180 and we would figure out that y would be equal to 60 degrees. So in this case, our answer would be C. All right? So just to recap, always kind of have to look at the problem and digest it and see what topic it pertains to and then what characteristics or um, ideas pertain to that topic. So we knew that we were dealing with triangles, we knew that triangles add up to 180 degrees, and then when we talk about vertical angles, we're talking about congruent angles. You put all that together, we work through the problem step by step, and we get that our answer is C, that's 60 degrees. Hope you enjoyed that one, guys.